Have you ever felt completely and totally helpless, as if you had nothing and there was nothing you could do about it? I was at that place a few years ago. My wife and I had moved out to Denver halfway across the country and we had thousands and thousands of dollars of debt. And in our first year of marriage, we only made $7,500 total. And we went through five vehicles in that first year. The, the last vehicle was stolen and it had bullet holes in the windshield. The right side was bashed in and it was set on fire from the inside out. The left wheel was taken off and it was shot up with a paintball gun. And I remember just thinking, God, what in the world are you doing? Jesus said that the poor would always be with us. Everywhere you look, there are people who lack the basics needed for food, shelter, clothing. We have the chronic poor, 45% of which are made up of women and children. Then we have the transitionally poor, who are living in low-income housing, just trying to get ends to meet, trying to get back on their feet. How do you feel when you think about the poor? Most of the emotions that we feel really boil down to two basic categories. We either blame the individual or we blame society. And the problem with blaming the individual is that we, f we fail to take into account their lack of education or perhaps their lack of nurturing as a child. But if we blame society, then it's everybody else's fault. And you see, both of these views are self-righteous because the gospel erases any feelings of superiority. The gospel reduces us down to where all of us are needy, all of us are poor, all of us are helpless in need of a savior. So how did Jesus respond to the poor? Quite simply, he responded by entering into their condition. He entered into their condition symbolically. Matthew 25 says that when we help the poor, it's as if we're helping Christ. He also entered their condition literally. He was born in a feeding trough. He, he lived homeless. He rode on, into town on a borrowed donkey, ate in a borrowed room, and then he died and was buried in a borrowed tomb. And so we want to follow Christ by identifying with the poor as he did, by ministering to the poor as he did. And one of the ways that we're going to do that is by spending a night in a box. And we're going to do that in order to raise funds and awareness so that we can better minister to the poor in the city of Denver. And we're asking you to join us by either spending a night in a box with us or by supporting those who do. Night in the Box is an opportunity to feed the hungry, to give drink to the thirsty, and to clothe the naked. For when we do it for the least of these, we're doing it for our Lord. I was
Thirsty, you gave me water. I was a stranger. 